So, I'm at spawn at the moment with Skulltree and uh, one of the other members of the server. And we're heading over to our base, show around, and she's uh, gonna base up with us and build some stuff in the Mesa as well. At least I think that's the plan at the moment, which is gonna be pretty cool. If we even make it there, <laughs> nah, I'm sure we'll be fine with the stone sword. Okay, so I'm gathering some birch wood because today I'm going to be working on an actual house for the town. And this initial house is obviously going to be made out of birch and a bit of spruce. Right, let's go back and I'll deposit my mining supplies and then I can show you what I've been working on. Since the last episode, we made a few more diamonds. We made another six and I got a few from that diamond adventure earlier. Oh, and uh, these eyes are in the skill tree made, so we can go fight the end dragon, probably after I finish this build over here. So, I gathered all the virtual logs I sort of needed, at least for now, and uh, I made a template. This is the start of the saloon. The saloon is what I'm going to be building. I think I said that before, but in case I didn't, I built the saloon. This is going to be where I'm actually going to live. And this is sort of going to be at the corner of the town. So the town is sort of going to go through here, at least for the main path. It's going to go through here and then out that way. And this is going to be the the saloon, right on the corner, right in the centre. So I got a little more spruce, took down a, that big spruce tree over there. And I, I'll make sure to plant another one. But let's attack this build with a bit of spruce to start off with then. And well, there we go, just before it gets dark. This is what I've done, this is just going to be the outside section, so a little walkway. Just trying to build and there are just monsters everywhere. Go away. <laughs> that was an awful hit. Okay, yep, time to leave, let's go. Look at that, look at that, I'd leave for like two seconds. Right, lanterns, lanterns, fix everything. Look at these horde of zombies, six zombies, jeez. Go away. This is just temporary lighting, of course, this is going to look a lot better when there's more buildings. Okay, so like 99% of this build is done, for the exterior at least, and the interior, yeah, there's, there's not a whole lot here, let's get the scaffolding down though. Although, it does give me an idea. Yeah, I think that adds a nice little pop of colour, uh, that wasn't on the creative version of this build, uh, but uh, yeah, I think that that's definitely an improvement. There is going to be a bit of a balcony here, 
and a, another little segment here because this bit's going to be decorative, purely decorative down here, there's going to be a room here and uh, through here it's going to be the basement which is where all of the stuff is I dug this out while I was waiting for the birch trees to grow and uh, this is where I'm going to have all my practical stuff that is out of sight so it's easy just to shove it out of the way and then up here, up to these stairs, it's just the top area there's a few things I want to put up here but uh, all going to be decorative up here because I'm actually going to make an attempt to do interiors on this world because it's often something I avoid so here it is, it's come along very nicely, I'm happy with it, it's not the final product yet but uh, let's show you a build of the inside this is what I've done so far, I think it's looking pretty good, I've added the balcony and uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it so this is the lower section at the moment uh, I'm gonna add barrels for my storage it makes sense for a saloon to have a cellar and well, barrels just look better in a cellar, so yeah so that's what I'm going to use, and um, it's not super decorative down here, but uh, I'm going to at least make some kind of an effort, because, you know, after all, I do have to use that space. Like, I have to see it regularly, so I want it to look at least somewhat good. Uh, the rest of this interior will get decorated, and I'll probably do that right now. First things first, the bar. Boom, there we go, there is the bar done, that it's tucked in this little corner here. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. Now, let's move on to the next thing. Also, yes, I am using a wooden axe. Well, my diamond one is very low and I don't have mending, so... Uh, this was cheap to make and it's faster than punching, so yes, I am using a wooden axe. Well, I just went ahead and did it. Here we have everything. The interior is done, except I forgot a carpet. Insulted the back of my build. I had to put him in his place, you know. And uh, there we go, the carpet is in, and this is the final product. I think it's looking pretty nice. And uh, down here through the back, I have my area, and I've actually done a labeled system, which is uh, pretty cool. I decided to go with barrels because, yeah, like I said, uh, they just they look a bit nicer in this, and there's quite a lot of open space. Although there are a few things like this and terracotta where I had to use double chests just to, yeah, have a bit of room. Well, with this final addition, I think this place is done. Look at that, I think that's pretty cool. I love this build so far. I think that's pretty cool. I love that little banner trick. And uh, yeah, this is the build so far under the start of the town. Oh, and uh, we're gonna lava shop up and running. Let's go check that out. Looks like a new shop has opened up. This looks incredible. Uh, it's look. I'm assuming it's a teepee, you know, with the wild western style. Well, it looks like uh, three diamonds for two buckets of lava, and then you can refill for one diamond. Got a little bit distracted there, but I'm moving the sign over to here just because I think it'll get more views because obviously we come from this direction so yeah we're gonna be looking at this I did think of doing another one and I still might but at the moment I'm not because it takes quite a lot of resources and the black dye is quite annoying to get without a squid farm okay then so what's next for this town well obviously I need to get a path in but uh that's not as fun as it's well it doesn't sound fun but yeah, that's, that's not fun, so I'm going to leave that for as long as I can. Uh, these walls are very, very bare, because buildings are going to be going here. Uh, they're going to be literally just attached to it, or every now and then there'll be like an alleyway one, uh, which will get decorated a bit more with some random boxes and things, but I think the next building I'm going to do is going to be here, and it's going to be the honey farm. And uh, that way, it's super close to my storage system. So I can literally just use hoppers and water streams and all, all that stuff to just automatically transport it to probably a barrel here, which will be super cool. And uh, yeah, that, that'll be fun. So to start this honey farm, I'm going to need silk touch. So let's see if we can get lucky because my, aura, my diamond pickaxe already has fortune. So let's see, I'm breaking three, efficiency two, breaking one. 
Okay, well, let's go for numbering three, see if we get silk touch. Okay, we didn't. Okay, so attempt two, I got back up to 30 levels, and uh, let's see what we get. I'm breaking three again, I'm breaking two, I'm breaking, <laughs> breaking one. Uh, I'm just going to go for a low one, and uh, just just try and re-roll that. Attempt three, I'm breaking three, fortune one, efficiency one. I'm thinking we just go for another big one and see if we get it, because, uh, I don't know, just, I don't know, efficiency 4. Well, great. Maybe a book will work. Nope, of course it doesn't. Okay, so it took a little bit of time, but I got it. Um, I have got a Silk Touch pickaxe now, I just need to get bees. So, I do know already where a, uh, beehive is. Uh, I just need a campfire, which should be like very easy to get. Oh, also, uh, skill tree moves this this portal uh, from spawn into our area here. Luckily, I already have some in my building supplies, because I've used them before for decorative purposes. So yeah, that's pretty helpful. Right, let's go get a beehive. Okay, so here we are. This is the uh, beehive. Uh, Let's put the uh, can't find that. I don't think I actually needed to mine out those two. Now, the question is, are there bees in it? Because... <laughs> god, god, that was awful. Uh, because uh, there's... I can't see any. Which is, I suppose, a good sign. So maybe we just go for it. Ow. And I'll pick up this. And Silk Touch is actually kind of useful for this. Because then it won't break. Although it will take a long time. There we go. Right, well, let's hope there's at least two bees in there, because then I can breed them, and I'll just make uh, bee nests. Beehives? Beehives. These are bee nests, yeah. So, let, let's get back. I'm also going to get some flowers along the way, because uh, then I can... Not only are they used to actually breed them, but they're uh, used to actually get the honey from. You know, where else are they going to get the pollen from? I have to breed a lot of bees then, and uh, I don't know if I want to do the breeding in the actual building that I'm going to have here, because the building is going to be the farm, and uh, so yeah, maybe I think I might do it underground. Okay, so we have a secret, not so secret, beehive door, this just leads to the room where I'm going to be breeding all the bees, and I guess I'll just put it there, and uh, let's, let's get some shears. I think if I shear this, I get my, f ooh, three honey, that's enough to make a... Oh, what was it? I just said it. Ne it's not a nest, it's the other thing. Beehive, there we go. Uh, that's enough to make a beehive, so that's good. Right, let's get some flowers down. And there's our bee, we got a bee. Oh, and there's a second bee, so let's breed them. Because I always need more. And uh, let's get these flowers down. So that way, they can... Uh... Now they're all following me. There we go, that way they can start actually producing honey. So we can make beehives, because we need honeycomb to make the beehives, which allows us to get even more bees. So well, I suppose I'm just going to be doing that for a little bit, and uh, when I come back, I'll have all the bees ever necessary. You know what, this time I'm starting from the back, yeah, there we go, uh, I haven't done the back, so that's why I, uh, I'm just going to show that straight away, but here we go, this is what I have, I think, 
looks pretty cool and I've included some yellow spots to represent the the beads inside uh, it's not it's a very unspecific uh, building so it doesn't have the like the word saying it's a building because well I don't think they had bee farms uh, in the world west uh, to the best of my historical knowledge I went with the same palette and a very similar design uh, in like with the the front section because I kind of want this building to just be like overshadowed by this because this is not one that's meant to stick out it's not meant to be see if we go here like you can't see it and it's not meant to to be in your face shall we say uh, because it is literally at the end of the day it's just a farm I think it's gonna come all the way out the same lips because I'm gonna need all of that that space for other stuff but I, I suppose it could come out further if I need it uh, but I'm gonna do the inside first before I do that but yeah that is the design so far and it needs a little bit of lighting up so I'll probably have some light going through the windows actually that'll be a cool cool little thing there we go that looks good and you can't see any ugly torches on the outside well let's head back over into the little, little bee cave and uh, I'll see what we've got Okay, so it's starting to be a little bit more chaotic in here, but uh, I think we got enough bees. I don't, I've actually lost count, there's that many, so well, I'm kind of hoping like if I just pick one, it has three in. But I don't think there's really a way to guarantee it. There needs to be some sort of way you can like see, because like, I don't know, like a tool or something that if you click on it, it just tells you three out of three bees or something probably a command for it or something, I don't know, but uh, I don't have access to that. Although, these two aren't going into the, the hives, which could suggest that all of them are full, which is a good sign, and even at night, they seem to be fine, And because <laughs> I just opened that and they're going into there. So, I say let's take one of these, we'll take that one. What? What? Oh. What? Huh? I'm... They have campfires. I'm pretty sure they're not meant to attack me. I'm so confused. Is it because I didn't pick up with Silk Touch? Because I used my axe instead. Um... Great. Well... We just probably lost like three bees. So... Uh... Oh, and another one died there. Well, that was a bit of a failure. Maybe let's try and take another one. <laughs> and then hope I don't lose any more. Ah! Oh, and that one died as well. Well, this should have three be beads in it. So, you know, we're... Hopefully, we're good. So, some work has been done. And this is what I got. I put up uh, some walls. I've done every wall except the back one. Now... So yeah, that's pretty good. Inside here, this is the main area where the bees are. This is the main contraption. Pretty simple. This just detects how much honey is in it. And also through here is just a little section and I've got my spare honeycombs and things. I'll put bee related stuff. I might sell honeycombs at some point, I don't know. So I got this wall on. Let's get the beehives. So I need seven. Also, these bees are going to be able to come out of their beehive. And I messed up. And all the bees are coming out again. So look at this. There's so many bees. This is awesome. And there's plenty of flowers for each of them. So, yeah, we should be collecting honey. Oh, we already have some honey. Nice. So we'll pop them in there for now. And I think that's going to be it for this episode. We made some pretty cool stuff i'm pretty happy with this farm so far although it doesn't have a roof but it'll be fine we'll do that next episode I, I promise i will do that next episode also some notes on the ender dragon uh yeah well we still haven't fought it and uh, i don't know when we're gonna fight it i think last episode i said i might but well we haven't so i, I don't know we just sort of haven't got around to it but Although I suppose we don't really need it because Skill Tree went to the end already and bridged out into the void without killing the Ender Dragon. And 
yeah, that's how we got these electrics and stuff. So you bridged out to the outer end, and then you can get it there. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, do consider leaving a like and uh, subscribing. And I'll see you guys next episode.